guys. So today I'm going to do a uh, another chain pull. Um, this is the chain that I'm going to be using today. It's a little bit smaller than the, um, the chain I used on my last video or my last chain pull. So if you can see that, they're quite long. I've got two of them. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to do the background black. A little piece fell off. Um, right now I've uh, painted, well before, I've painted the, the background black. Um, I've got tape on the back and I put these little hooks, if you can see, so that um, I can adjust them and keep it off the paper so it dries properly and so I can adjust it and it will be level. Um, so then after that I'm going to put um, some black paint on it and then I'm going to do the uh, lay the chain down in, in this here and this is a noodle that I got from Dollarama um, I cut them in half and then I flattened the bottom so that they lay flat and this is just uh, some cellophane that I taped to the back so I'm going to lay my chain down or what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, some paint um, different, uh, four different colors of paint down and then lay the chain in and then drag it on my on my canvas. I've already uh, pre-mixed my colors. I use um, okay th this color here is lavender and it's um, by Art Minds got from Michaels um, decorative soft gloss acrylic paint and I've got this color here as well and it's called carnation I've got Amsterdam yellow yellowish green it's called also Amsterdam uh, sky blue light and the black I'm using is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And the pouring medium that I'm using is Flood Flow Troll. And this is what it looks like. You can get it at a hardware store. And I put some in a bottle like this just so it's easier to pour into the cups. I have also water that I <coughs> excuse me that I use and I've added 10% uh, flow troll in the water um, I've seen people do it I'm not really sure why so I thought I'd try it um, and also in the colors and I think I'm gonna do it in the black but I'm Actually, no, I'm not going to put any in the black, but in the colors, I put this uh, coconut milk serum, anti-breakage, anti-breakage serum. Um, it's got dimethicone in it, and it's good for giving, making sure you get cells. So it only needs about one drop, depending on the, the amount of the paint. <clears throat> And after the painting is done, after I've done the painting, I will um, stop the camera and then I will wait for it to dry and I will film the, the dried results and I will add it to the end of this video so that you can see when it's what it looks like when it's wet and how it dries. Okay, did I get everything? Okay, so I've mi pre-mixed the colors and I thought I would show you how I mix 
how I mix my paints. Um, all of these paint, well, two of these paints <clears throat> were pretty liquid already, like these ones <clears throat> were liquid, so I only used one part paint to about one part uh, Floetrol. And I have some tube paint that I used, and the tube paint's a little bit thicker, so I'm, I add a little bit more of the Floetrol. Sometimes it's um, uh, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Sometimes it's a little bit less. And then I add water to make it the right consistency. I'll try and show you the consistency. <clears throat> if I can do this. And it's supposed to flow off the stick like cream. Okay, so I'm gonna need a lot of black. I'm going to cover the whole canvas, so... If I don't have enough, I have some extra black side here in case I didn't mix enough. Not too much in there. Okay, so then I add my flow troll. And you shake it up really good because it settles. And then what I do when I pour it in here is I use a little strainer to put over the bottle and then pour through the strainer because sometimes you find lumps in the uh, flow troll. some of this and use this up. It's the same paint and Floetrol. So that gives me a little bit more. It's pretty thick still. So just more Floetrol. still. It's probably enough. And then I will add a little bit of the water mixture. Touch more. It's a little lumpy still.
think that is good. I'm not sure if you can see that. Try and go over the white. Okay. I'm just going to take the sticks out. These seem to be get in the way when you leave them in there. Um, maybe I'll leave them in here for the colors because I have to add them in here so that I'll leave that there. Okay, so what am I doing next? I am uh, adding the paint to the canvas and this is, uh, I can't remember the size of it. Um, it's canvas Like maybe five by twelve, five by twelve, five by twelve, maybe. I'm going to spread it with this. It's what I used to spread my paint with. It works pretty good. I get the edges. I ended up not even using all of that paint. Made too much again. Okay. Move it around like this a little bit. And I think that will level itself out once it's dry. should have <clears throat> made two cups of water so that I can oops rinse this rinse this out. And I have some water right here, so what I'll do is I'll get another cup. a bit. Okay, so I think I'm ready to put the colors. Okay, so where do I want to start with? Uh, let's start with purple. Okay, and I'm gonna Well, we'll try it out anyways. So. Okay, mix 
still use blue. Green. see the whole thing here. I'll show you closer, or I mean I'll show you, I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see. Okay, some more purple. Good for now. I'm gonna make sure I have enough paint in here, so I'm gonna just add a little more. So, I'm just going to lay my chain down, it's down, and hold this end here so it doesn't slide off. I'm going to go get a, grab another stick. And it's pretty much, oh, I don't really have to. There. Lift it up. It's kind of awkward in my space here. And I'm just going to do this kind of Looks like I got quite a bit of paint on here. Uh, could be too much, but we'll see. Just lay the rest down, lay the chain down like that, and then pull. Okay, so then I'm gonna I have a cup of water over here ready to go. And I'm going to put my chain in there so that it cleans it off. And uh, grab my other chain, lay it down. Let it settle in the paint. Where's my stick? I might have to add some purple there. All right. And lift 
lift it up again. Grab it. Gonna add another one right about here. hand off a bit and pull. Yeah, take my other chain out before I put this one in. Just wiping the chain. This is a paper towel. Okay, until it's sort of clean. Yep, looks good. it up again, grab it, oops, grab it, and I'll start one right about there. about the best one so far. I'm just going to maybe add a couple of little ones at the bottom just to fill those spots. are pretty. All right. So if I'm doing a smaller one, I only need a little bit of paint. So right here. My stick, I lost my stick again. <clears throat> I think I have to <clears throat> add a little bit of paint to a couple of spots. Pink. Okay. And a little bit of 
for the blue. Green's okay. Lift it up. I'm just going to do the other end of this and lay it in that side. off my hand and grab it and oops. Now I'm going to take the heat gun to it and see if I can get a little more cells. And I really like cells, so I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. And I hope you like it too. So what I'll do is, um, first of all, before I end this, I'm going to bring it up to the camera to get so you can get a better look at it. Close up. And I'll try and do it slow so it focuses. Okay, look. So that's it for tonight. And I'll be back with the dried results at the end of this video. Bye for now. Hi, uh, it's the next day and it's dry. Uh, everything dried pretty much the same as what it was wet. Um, and it, I think it looks pretty. So I'm going to zoom in and show you a uh, closer look. Closer. Some of it looks like butterflies, I think. Maybe that one and that one. I just like how, how, I don't know whether it was a combination of the paint I use, how it looks sort of feathery on the ends. I didn't try to make anything different happen. I just, uh, it was just the chain. And I had a lot of leftover paint. So what I did was, instead of saving it, I did some dirty pour, or not dirty, flip cup on CDs. 
with the same paint. I used it all up. I'll zoom in. Pretty cool. I guess I could use them for like coasters after they're varnished. I uh, usually use Liquitex varnish, gloss varnish when I varnish my painting. So maybe I'll do a video on that and show you or I could show you after they're done. So I also wanted to say that um, I do a lot of different kinds of artwork. This is not all I do. I usually work real in realistic um, artwork or my artwork is realistic. Um, I use, I, I draw uh, in graphite, I do pen and ink, I do um, watercolor, uh, and I also have done um, uh, silk, silk painting, and I'm just starting to do, I've done one scratch board artwork, and I'm looking to do some more of that, and possibly do videos of that as well. So if you want to see my artwork, my other artwork, and some of my pourings, uh, you can go to my website. It's www.kingsdrawingroom.weebly.com and I will write the address down on the video when I post it so that you can uh, get the spelling right. Anyways, so just want to say thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.